publication of the Duke of Sussex's Tell All Memoir has been pushed back to the autumn. And journalist Jonathan Sacerdoti suggested the intense worldwide scrutiny it was guaranteed would be a problem for the royal family as they prepared for the 70th anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's succession to the throne on February 6, 2022. He told Express.co.uk, The Queen is massively popular in the UK and has a 76% popularity rating in YouGov's polling and she is also incredibly well known around the world. And I think that the Queen's reputation has always been for putting duty and service above everything else, even her own private and family life. So I suspect, though I don't have any direct inside knowledge, that this is very difficult for the Queen, both on a personal level, because it was always believed that she had a very close relationship with Prince Harry, but also on let's say a professional level, as the Queen. Because this is not what the royal family would have chosen to have to deal with at this stage. And I think that book in itself is a good example because this book has been announced as having been in the works for a year, and now it's being delayed until the autumn. The Queen is due to celebrate Platinum Jubilee. She is the first monarch to get to that point. And this will undoubtedly take away some attention from those celebrations which I don't think is going to be a question of personal jealousy on the part of the Queen. It's about the very concept of the royal family and the monarchy, and where the attention should lie in that. The royal family was essentially a pyramid with the Queen at the top, Mr. Sacerdoti explained. He added, and if you detract from that with a massive book launch about personal problems within her family, and about somebody else in the family, that's by definition not serving the desires and aims of that royal family, and therefore of the British monarchy and therefore, by association of Britain. Because whether we like it or not, whether we're royalists, monarchists or republicans, the Queen is the head of state, the royal family sits at the top of the British establishment, so it's a challenge to that. Even if the book is gentle on him, it's taking away attention from the Queen in a very special year for her who, and shortly after Prince Philip died, which is also very difficult moment saw her in the family. So I think, undoubtedly, this can't be easy for Her Majesty. With respect to the timing of the book itself, Mr. Sacerdoti said. I think, in his position he has an enormous amount of power with his publisher to negotiate over when the book would be released so I think it's too charitable to suggest that it's out of his control. Harry and Meghan made headlines around the world as a result of their explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey earlier this year, with the prince accusing the royal family of cutting him off financially and criticizing father Prince Charles, Mr. Sacerdoti pointed out. He said, I would say that Prince Harry is in a uniquely complex position. H has chosen to go down his own path, and that's not a very well-worn path, H.E.S. having to invent how he does this. Some might argue that he has every right to do what he likes and that he did grow up in what he seems to have described as some sort of gilded cage without the level of freedom to do and say what he wanted, when he feels that H.E.S. a person with something to contribute to the world. And if that's the case, his role as the spare to the air was actually potentially to distract from controversy elsewhere. And that was the complaint that the couple made in the Oprah interview that the royal family, the firm, had defended William and Kate when needed from press intrusion, and they felt, done the opposite with their relationship and press attention towards them. And they suggested that that was a difficult position to be in and I'm sure it is a difficult position to be in, but it's almost the job description of being the brother to the heir. However, it was inevitable that the monarchy would want to defend the line of succession, consisting of the Queen, Prince Charles, Prince William and then on to his children, Mr. Sacerdoti pointed out, saying, so of course it was difficult for Harry. And some people may well say it doesn't matter how much money he has and how much privilege he had. It's a difficult position to be in and maybe HES hoping people will think it's brave of him to have ditched that, fled the country gone to America and done things on his own terms. Now, I don't know what I think about that. I can understand both sides of that argument. I certainly think that it's not what is normally the royal family and I don't think it's considerate towards the royal family, 
so it shows a certain degree of having decided that come what may, whatever damage it does to the monarchy, and to the family. This is what he wants to do, because it's what he feels he needs to do and he feels he deserves it, that he can do this and that. Some would say it is selfish. But everybody has to act selfishly occasionally in their lives and maybe he feels that's justified. 